comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ushanka Show. It's your favorite comrade, Comrade Sergei. Today I would like to show you a quite interesting document from the Soviet era, so-called Damavaya Kniga, which you can translate like a house book. So this is the book that was kept in every house, and doesn't matter private or the house that had a lot of families live. So this is the book that was uh, used as a tracking document for every person who lived in that house. So here's the close shot. Домовая книга, house book, для прописки граждан, проживающих в доме номер. And we already talked about прописка. I have a video just covering that topic. So this is the assignment that you have from the government that you're allowed to live in specific location. So this is a book for tracking prepiska of citizens that live in specific house number. So here, there's no home number, but it's a Lugavaya street in the village that my mother came from. So here you're looking at the close shot of prepiska ink stamp. So in case of my parents, we lived in the apartment in the city, prepiska was in our passport. Now. Soviet peasants, Soviet kolkhozniki, they didn't have passports till like end of 70s. So, prepiska was placed in their Damavaya kniga. So here it's a standard stamp for the village of Zhovid. So this is Chernikov region, and then you got Shors sub-region. It's the only way I can think of how to translate rayon. So you got oblast, like a region, and there's a, oblast consists of smaller sub-regions, which we call rayon, and then it's this polkom of Sierskova Soveta. So this is the local administration, and it says that you prepisan, so you are assigned to live in the village Jovid beginning in February 15 of 1979. So let's take a look what's inside. So this is says первый раздел, uh, first chapter. Сведения о лицах, ответственных за ведение книги и прописку на дому. So this is information of persons responsible for maintaining this book and for maintaining прописка at this house. So we got um, фамилия, имя, отчество, which is last name, first name, and middle name, although we don't really have middle name like in America, it's always your father's name. So my father is Nikolai, so I'm Sergei Nikolaevich. Then to the right from there is Kakova Vremeni, so that's the date when you start uh, living that house or you have your propiska there. And then it's interesting, next one is Dolžnost po domu, which means like what are your responsibilities in the house, so you owner or maybe uh, I don't know what else you could be in this house, or maybe you're the one who uh, watches the doors, or whatever. And then notes, primichania, it's notes. Here we're looking at the part two, of второй раздел. Отметки должностных лиц о проверке действительного наличия граждан, проживающих в доме, и правильности записи в домовой книге. There's a long word in here. So this is spot where people who check on you should uh, put the date and this is what uh, write their name next line below должность лица so what is his должность uh, like what is his position who made the verification проверка uh, and then отметка результатах проверки so that's results of this um, verification so this is the people who are checking наличие граждан uh, that those uh, citizens exist in that house and that book is maintained correctly. Okay, moving on. So, first two pages were looked. There was a record about people who were maintaining this book and people who were verifying records in the book. So now, третий раздел, so third part, is actually you write down people who live in the house. So first column, last name, first name. Uh, then you need to put where he uh, was born, where he from originally. Uh, also his family uh, status, so married or single. 
and also you need to put down kids even if they under uh, uh, 16 if they arrived with the person next column is the year and the month of birth so here that's my distant relative uh, Nila uh, so she was born in 1937 so that will be September 1st and then her son Victor uh, he was born in 1970 so that's a column number two next column when and from where a person arrived and if you the person moved in the city within the city limits so then he needs to mention the previous address and number of the house so they they wanted all the information they could get so third column is tracking person movements within soviet union or even uh, within town so this fourth column it's interesting so for nila it has a word says Mesnaya. So she, like local, that's pretty much what it says. It doesn't say where she arrived or what. So before, uh, you know, I guess in 1937, 40s, they didn't have those books. So she always lived in that village. So they just didn't bother putting any other addresses. They just put that she is local. Uh, next column, number five. The purpose of arrival and for how long. So expectation that you write down people who came to stay with you for three months, maybe a month, you need to write down what the purpose of the visit. So like stay with the sick relative or go to college or whatever, and for how long. And the last column, number six, is your nationality and your citizenship. And uh, there is a three letter word, ukr, means that she is Ukrainian. So we're kind of moving across there's two pages, so now we're column number seven. So we still need more information about people who live in the house. So here they're asking about your passport. So the number of the passport, when it was issued, and by who, for how long, and for, uh, for how long it was issued. So it's interesting. So she was born in 1937. She got passport issued in 1978. So this is one of the interesting details about life of the Soviet peasants, Soviet kolkhozniki. They didn't have passports till 1978. So they were not allowed to travel at all because if you don't have a passport, you can't travel with, even within Soviet Union. Column number eight is about your military service, which she was a female, so uh, she didn't uh, go to the military service. Next column, number nine, is basically what do you do for a living? Uh, where do you work? What's your position? And if you are Ishdivenet, so if you don't work and uh, being provided by somebody else, then uh, you're supposed to write down the last name of the person that supports you. So, for example, if you're handicapped or something like that, then you need to put the name of the person who supports you quite insane isn't it so here in column number nine it says kolkhoznitsa that's a word for female kolkhoz worker collective farm worker so she was kolkhoznitsa column number 10 i already showed that stamp kind of in a close shot but this is atmetka organa milicia propiskia so this is the marking this is actually needs to be done by local militia like like police so you take that book and you take the person um, and they verify and they put the stamp that you are put a piece and now you're assigned to that location. And the column number 11, it says when and where you, uh, if you left this location. So where did you go and when? And then also you need to have a mark by militia again verified that you left so this is this is quite impressive how much information they wanted to have so now i have a chapter number four so it seems like this book was designed to be uh, covered individual homes like private homes which is like single you know household homes and also uh, houses with apartments so chapter number four is apartment lists so now 
you got uh, to the far left is what number of apartment last name first name and once again when did you move in when did you move out so this is more uh, controlling people who move in and out apartments but it's part of the same book and I made a picture of this so that's the bottom right corner of the last page and it's <laughs> I just it's unbelievable anyway it says в этой книге пронумерована и прошнурована so this book uh, in this book uh, they had so many pages and they were all so they used like a I could say a rope so like a thin rope so in order for the pages not to be removed uh, so this is a local militia uh, like a sheriff would verify that this book has a proper amount of pages the no pages were removed and it's always almost like sewn together and sealed to make sure that book uh, remains intact so here's the example of the similar book but it's a different book and this is a looks like was a quite a thick book because we're looking on the top left at page number 150 uh, so this was maintained for a long time but what i found curious so back in 60s because on the right you see those stamps people actually had to pay tax when they um get prapiska or get uh, removed uh, you know so you get assigned and then get unsigned from the apartment you have to pay fee uh, for doing that so they were uh, gluing these stamps that you paid the fee uh, to do that so like top right you see a guy uh, came in and then he left so he had two stamps and two ink stamps so the next couple of pictures is just close shots of this Poshina stamps and Poshina we translate like a duty like when you bring goods in the country you pay duties right so Poshina is the word for that so that's what you have to pay uh, duty to in order to get sign assigned to apartment you know so I didn't know about this uh, something new for me too every day is something new to learn and here you could see uh, how was a sign that the book was verified that all the pages and numbers are matching so this on the top says it's 278 pages and this is august 1933 those are good old days and then it's signed that i checked the book and everything looks correct and it's prashnarovana and so that's dated 1933 then that book was checked again in 1936 and later again it was checked but i can't tell what year so yeah that was a quite a important document and it was verified and uh, taken really seriously well guys i hope you like this video it's a little bit kind of boring but i thought it's a quite important part of a uh, soviet history and for those people who kind of miss soviet union this is kind of shows uh how tight was government control over it's people over people movements um that's pretty creepy anyways i'll well, talk to you soon До свидания. goodbye Это гнездо в углу, да? Ну вот он, да, видишь? Чего? Можно попробовать. Видно тебе там наплывы такие, ну как ракушки вот это, на море. Так. Вот, сусты.
знание какое-то уничтожить. Материалов очень горючих. Но прикол, что ты на флажу он еще капать будет. Понял? Что будет капать? Будем надеяться, что они же, они же бумаги, из бумаги сделаны. А взято из бумаги сделано? Нет, дома идут. А газета, да, ты прав, бумаги. Неожиданный расход. У меня постоянное чувство, что у меня по пузу сам бегает. Ну, сразу завелось. Ну, она не сбумает сразу. Они старые дерева, типа, стесы, пережевывают. И, типа, как бумажный домик такие получаются. По пенальти мы выиграли, да? Mm? По пенальти мы выиграли. Да, мы решали сейчас Hey, by the way, the cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at the teespring.com. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet 